fine, good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Restricted travel to Hawaii for two more months. This is becoming a standard mantra from Hawaii Governor David Ide to tourists who are thinking about coming to the islands for a vacation, please delay your travel plans. For the Hawaii Governor today, travel regulations will remain in place for at least another two months. Hawaii is struggling with extremely high COVID-19 numbers in terms of new cases and deaths due to the highly contagious Delta variants. For those who still do come to Hawaii, they must show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test result within 72 hours of arriving in Hawaii or face a 10-day quarantine. The governor holds a weekly press conference in the Aloha State, and for the past few weeks, his plea has been the same asking tourists to wait until later to visit Hawaii. Right now Hawaii has emergency orders in place to regulate how travel is conducted when going to Hawaii, and for the governor today, those regulations will remain in place for at least another two months. Hawaii has been struggling with extremely high COVID-19 numbers in terms of new cases and deaths, all due to the highly contagious Delta variants. It is not unusual to see double-digit death counts in a single day. The Honolulu morgue has had to place three refrigerated containers on property in order to accommodate the high number of bodies being received as well as to contain those that have passed from COVID, which right now is most of them. Governor Ige explained that the seven-day average of new daily cases remains higher than 300. The numbers are frighteningly higher than when COVID-19 made its first appearance. At one point in August of this year, there were nearly 900 new cases recorded in Hawaii in a single day. Since then, Hawaii has reigned in the number of people that can gather in one place as well as how many may dine in an establishment at one time. For tourists, this means long lines at restaurants, and many places that offer food are doing so only for pickup. Hawaii's Lieutenant Governor Josh Green, who is also an ER doctor, has been watching the hospitalization numbers with an eagle's eye. He quickly points out that most of those being hospitalized right now as COVID patients are those who are unvaccinated. The data shows that close to 90% of those needing in hospital treatment for COVID did not receive any vaccine, and that percentage remains consistent day after day. Right now, the wearing of masks is mandatory in indoor public spaces, and to even enter a food establishment whether for dining in or simply picking up, one must show a completed vaccination card to do so. Despite the fact that Hawaii is approaching the once highly regarded 70% vaccination rate to achieve herd mentality currently at 68% the governor no longer sees crossing this threshold as a marker for loosening restrictions. The Delta variant's highly contagious nature makes that once landmark goal now negligible. The greatest concern is for the healthcare workers and hospitals who are stretched beyond normal conditions going into the second year. Staff is severely overworked and the numbers of beds available for COVID patients has to be constantly monitored so that hospitals can still accept other types of patients that need medical care. For those who still decide to travel to Hawaii, they must show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test result within 72 hours of arriving in Hawaii or a 10-day quarantine will be imposed. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group, or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobonews.com or travelnews.online.